Okay, well, Tony, as uh, Mark said back here, just the one bogey yesterday on the first hole, and it's kind of been smooth sailing, more or less. <laughs> just a few comments about uh, today and how you're feeling through 36 holes. Yeah, the game feels like it's in a good spot. Um, you know, I scored it really nicely yesterday, and I hit it really nicely today. I didn't hit it that close, you know, so even though I didn't make that many putts, um, I rolled it nicely. It was nice to get one on seven, which was my 16th hole. I felt like I had a, a bunch of looks beforehand that you know weren't going in and it was nice to roll one in on our on my way home so um but overall it's been a solid couple days i think you said you like the draw of late early on thursday friday yeah obviously i'm guessing the wind was a lot more subdued today yeah definitely it laid down quite a bit especially after yesterday and um it's supposed to pick up this afternoon but we'll see how that plays out um but overall for i think for the wave that we had um i played i played really nicely you haven't missed a cut here before finished tied for third two years ago, I think with Emiliano, in fact. Anything in particular you remember about two years ago and that finish and, and your, how close you were in the contention? The thing I remember most is my, my coach, Boyd Summerhays, was catting for me. He forgot to put sunscreen on his legs, and his legs are the color of her hat. So uh, that's what I remember most. His legs were red the last couple of rounds, and he was quite embarrassed. So, I don't, yeah, that's, that's more, I, I remember more about that, I think, than the golf. But uh, that was quite funny, and uh, that was the last time he's ever caddied for me. So, <laughs> was, that, was that the first time or first and last? Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> you mentioned the late early. Now you got a little bit of break, being you know uh, up there in the leaderboard. What are you gonna do with the time out here? Kids maybe over here. What are you gonna do with that time? Here? Yeah, that's the great thing about having my family out here. I have no uh, no problem filling that time with the kids. So I'll be hanging out with them. You know, tonight, tonight I'm sure we'll do a little bit of fishing here on you know on the lake, right in our our backyard we're staying at, so uh, we'll have plenty of do to, to fill the time. Are you staying pretty far away or pretty near? No, right here. We're just riding number 10. Yeah, we just got a place there, Airbnb, right on number 10, and we'll be fishing on that lake later this evening. So, Tony, can you take me through the, the, the 18th hole and particularly what you had on that 100-foot putt that you had? Yeah, that was, that was quite a tricky putt. I had to play a lot of break, but I had to get the, the speed just right. Um, you know, unfortunately, I hit two. I've hit the green twice there. But I've left myself pretty impossible, you know, two putts. So um, I'll be looking to hopefully hit some shots a little closer on the weekend. What did, what did you have over the water today? Uh, 230 over the water. Um, it was a three iron. But it didn't come out the way I wanted. Um, it was basically like I was hitting out of the rough. I was at the very end of the first cut. But three to six inches from my golf ball, the rough was about this high. So what ended up happening is it was basically like I was hitting out of the rough. You know, I hit a hard three iron which is about my 250 club, and it barely covered the water. So, I mean, I'll take, I'll take that putt after, you know, kind of a scare with the second shot. Was there anything from the final round at St. Andrews that kind of propelled you into here that you found there or confidence you brought from that? Anytime you can play well on a Sunday in a major, you know, no matter what situation you're in, I think it just breeds more confidence, you know, with whatever you're working on and things. So um, I think I've just kind of ran with some of the feels and the thoughts from St. Andrews and, um, and applied it into the week so far, and, and it's working, and it's been it's been good. How did you keep from dealing with any kind of fatigue just from the cross-continental trip to come here <laughs> and get your way right back into the mix a few days later? Yeah, well, I tell people this all the time. You know, I, a lot of people sleep, coffee. You know, a lot of coffee is a huge thing. But when you have five kids, you know, <laughs> in your face, you know, as soon as you see them, um, jet lag's all gone. So... Uh, Maybe that's a huge reason, you know, why I'm not feeling a lot of jet lag. I've got my family here, and it's been a lot of fun. So. And is there any motivation to kind of build your resume to, for the President's Cup at, in these final few weeks of the season? Yeah, I mean, there's always that extra motivation, you know. But uh, one thing I've learned about being on those teams and being in this position before is it's it's impossible to make those teams if you're looking that far ahead, you know. Um, this week, I, you know, I'm going to have 36 holes to play some good golf and, and hopefully have a chance to win, and that's really where my most of my focus is. The rest kind of takes care of itself. What's it mean in general to be on those teams from having done it a few times? Yeah, it means everything. You know, everything to your career. It's, it's the best experiences I've had in this game um, have been in, in those team events. Um, Whistling Straits is going to be hard to top. It was a really cool team to be a part of. But... Uh, what it does is it keeps you hungry to want more. You know, that's all. That's all it does. The more experiences you have like that, um, the more you want to be a part of those teams. So that's definitely um, a motivating factor. Um, but I, you know, I would say every week you tee it up, you have a, you know, 
a goal in mind. And, and for me this week, it's to put myself in contention to win on Sunday. And I've done a good job of that for two rounds. The greens look like they're starting to brown out. How are they playing? Yeah, they're still softer than they look. Um, you know, like, uh, for example, the last hole, I had an eight iron straight downwind. It pitched and it didn't move an inch. So they're, they're definitely starting to get a little faster. But they haven't proved to be as firm, I think, as they look. So we'll see how that plays out kind of as the wind blows and um, the conditions firm up throughout the weekend. Good. Thanks, Tony. Thanks. 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 Thank you. Appreciate it. Thank you, Tony.